Hey, what's up, all? My name is Darius2007, and I've got a little video about uh, how to have effects on your master track uh, and record automation there. Um, so what I've got is the EQA bumping bass and a little bit of highs, and I have my group macro with three macro buttons, each button controlling more than one thing on there. Then I've got a utility turning it down 6 dB. Then I've got a limiter, um, which it only works if the limiter is pushing down. So I'll show you. See there how it's pushing down? That's how you know you're flush with 0 dB. And then you're going to want to turn it down a little bit with the utility 3 dB down so that um, you are prepared to be turned down on Spotify or whatever and they won't turn you down actually so uh, uh, yeah you do not want to have any track armed like so if you right click there it's armed or if you left click there it's armed but you do want to turn on this button here uh, the automation arm it's right by the play stop and record button it's two dots with a line going between them turn on the automation arm I've gotten my effects go in there so I'll I'll uh, twist some knobs Okay, so we had nothing armed, so it didn't record in a microphone or anything. It didn't. It didn't go. If you have something armed, it will record over it. So you don't want that. You had nothing armed except for the automation arm. And then, uh, so we've got. Uh, you right click on these, and you can see the automations. Um. This is the automations that I made with the push. Now you can edit these a little bit. Like you could have this go way down right there. Then have it going back up. Hear how that sounds. So it's kind of simple, but uh, putting effects on the master and automating them is uh, the only way to really stand apart as a producer, for me at least. And I hope uh, everyone gets something out of this video. Uh, my name is Darius2007, and this is how you use uh, macro groups on the whole track. Uh, thank you for watching. Peace.